Time to play with some clay. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to position this horse here on my stand. And I think I'm going to probably put it like that. I'm going to have to readjust his head and everything, but I think it'll be that way. Right now I'm going to... drill a hole for the uh, support. I decided to use uh, copper tubing again. It's thinner and easier to place. Good support. All right, I'll come back after I get everything anchored and get the uh, first uh, one mounted on my little jig. I may have to take this away uh, while I work on the horses uh, alone. All right, I brought out my, my uh, mannequin I bought uh, from the uh, foundry I work with. Uh, they sold them for a brief period of time. They don't sell them anymore. Uh, they're very expensive. It's a plaster cast, I think. I'm not sure exactly what. Anyway, it's a good one. And, uh, but it gives me the three-dimensional view of the bone structure, which is, is always good to have. I'm going to continue. I just sketch in the hips as much as I can. There are proportions to the width of the hips. Uh, and to the length of the hips and uh, and the distance between the rib cage and the edge of the rib cage, all that stuff. And like I said, I cover all that uh, in my video on creating a horse from scratch. So anyway, this makes it a lot easier for me in the long run. And uh, I'm going to work a little bit more and then i got to quit because I haven't eaten, eaten, eaten anything today and it's almost 7 o'clock in the evening. Well, I got the leg bones in the back almost sketched in and I'm going to fill in the uh, root cage right now. I'm still going to cover this with... Uh, jmac clay but i want to just put a basis for the uh rib cage out of a harder material so that it, uh, it won't be changing on me and i also want to get the uh front legs done and i can't do that until i get the uh 
root cage filled in. I had to center the uh, call the uh, breastbone between the two shoulder blades as well. Now this is uh, the first time I've used this kind of clay for this reason and I'm going to find out whether I like it or not probably tomorrow when the uh, clay has a chance to uh, stiffen up a bit. All right, I'm just, that's as far as I'm going to go. i got to go fix dinner. <laughs> I really do. Anyway, I kind of like it so far. If it just holds its shape and everything, and uh, all the proportions stay the same, I think it'll be just fine. The hips are the hardest ones because it's hard to envision how they're constructed. But uh, ain't so bad when you've got a, a good three-dimensional model to go by. Now, Sculpture Depot sells the uh, armature, a full armature made up uh, out of uh, foam uh, of the uh, skeletal structure, and it's accurate and proportional and all that stuff so you don't have to worry about doing what I'm doing but you still have to know how to put the muscles on it and depending on the type of horse you sculpt uh, this is going to be a Mustang it's not going to be a quarter horse so uh, it will be a different structure than a, a a Ravian or a quarter horse. Uh, you kind of have to know the characteristics of uh, the different breeds. I'm just establishing the center line of the hip and the backbone to the tail. It's just a matter of teaching yourself uh, each of these things and it's it's a lot to, to learn but it's fun learning it too. And I'm going to put the patella on the uh, horse. Yes, they have a knee, a kneecap, just like humans. Just thought of that. I better put it on now while the clay is soft. All right. Good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. 
give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional DVDs uh, the link down below this video all right see you next time